Store Parkland NRP in adhesive at a minimum temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 20 degrees Celsius, for 24 hours prior to installation. Ensure substrate, wall panels, and surrounding areas are clean and dust free. Damp wipe the substrate if dust is present and prime joint compounds with a latex base primer. HVAC must be continually operated for a minimum of 72 hours at a temperature of no less than 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 20 C, prior to installation. Be sure to run the HVAC for an additional 48 hours after the installation is complete. Now, identify which substrate you're installing over. Is it a smooth wall surface or concrete walls? For smooth wall surfaces, you may install either 1 16th inch or 1 8th inch Parkland NRP sheet products. For installation over concrete walls, use only 1 8th inch Parkland NRP. This heavier gauge sheeting will smoothly bridge the gap over any unevenness in the concrete wall surface. Now it's time to lay out the project with a laser level or strike a chalk level line on the wall. We're going to check for unacceptable locations of panel seams, trim pieces, or wall openings. It's easy to protect from overspray with either a spray shield, drop cloth, or paper masking. Wipe the sheet back gently with a clean damp cloth. For non-full size sheets, pre-cut with a hooked blade. Dry fit to ensure the proper size and keep quarter inch minimum above the finished floor. Trim dividers are to be a sixteenth of an inch minimum above base moldings. If this is a wall to ceiling installation, then pre-trim the top edge of the panel to allow for that sixteenth inch gap and then pre-apply the cap moldings to the panels prior to placement and adhesive. Then you're going to want to strike plumb lines along the wall every four feet as a reference guide for panel alignment. You're going to want to start at one end of the wall and work along the wall to the opposite side. Roll the sheet to the adhesive with a pressure roller. Do not roll six inches of the sheet along each edge where the divider molding is to be placed. Slide the divider moldings on each sheet end as you work along the wall from one end to the other. Optional use of a two-piece divider moldings makes the installation much easier. Be sure the divider moldings are fully secured to the wall with the adhesive. And if this is a water resistant application, then you want to seal each divider and panel molding with Parkland sealant as it is mated to each panel. Remove excess adhesive with a rag and appropriate solvent. Leave a sixteenth inch gap between the sheets, trim pieces, and any building components. Inside corners, leave a sixteenth inch gap including trim. Apply the corner trim to the uninstalled NRP sheet, then place into the corner against the previously installed NRP sheet. For tight wall areas where there's no room for proper spray pattern, you're going to want to use the Parkland panel adhesive with the standard 1 16th inch V-notch trowel over a sealed surface. If you cannot seal the wall prior to installation, then you're going to have to use a 1 8th inch V-notch trowel to provide the appropriate adhesive strength. Pre-apply top and end moldings as per regular installation. Now for sheet installation over concrete walls, make sure you use the quarter inch by 3 16th inch square notch trowel, not the V-notch trowel. Use this trowel to apply the Parkland panel adhesive directly to the back side of the sheet, apply the NRP sheet to the wall surface and adjust the position as necessary. Apply Parkland pin rivets along the edges as necessary to keep the sheet from moving as you work along the wall. Drill quarter inch holes, that's the G size masonry bit, for the pin rivet retainers. Select the pin nail locations per approved architect specification or select one of the four approved Parkland NRP pin nail patterns.